Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, June 19, 2013. I thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts here. We'll start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. This is the U contract. So this week, there will be contract rollover. We're going to go from the M contract to the U contract. What you're going to see here is that the futures are trading flat on the session. Really no change. Sitting right here at 16.45 and a quarter. Um, again, everyone is on uh, waiting for the Federal Reserve meeting, the FOMC meeting announcement at 2 o'clock this afternoon. So I'm expecting, to be honest, uh, a kind of a quiet session. Yesterday, the markets floated higher really all day on the anticipation that Ben Bernanke will keep QE3 intact and he won't disrupt it. Um, today, we're just uh, really in pause mode for the most part. So I'm not seeing anything all that terrific here anything there's nothing really uh, all that dire uh, we'll just see how these markets play out and uh, what they give us but right now futures are unchanged um, and we'll, we'll have to wait and see how that Fed Reserve Federal Reserve announcement comes out if they mention QE3 or any tapering of QE3 or any kind of cuts in QE3 um, that could send bond yields higher also it could also send the dollar higher as well so we'll see how that plays out but I'm not sure what they're gonna say um, I don't expect really any major changes, but uh, everyone will be listening closely to the statement by Ben Bernanke. Listen to his every word, um, almost like it was back in the day with Alan Greenspan, where nobody could understand what that guy was saying. But uh, yet, uh, the markets moved off of uh, one little subtle word change in his statement. So we'll just see how that plays out. I'm not 100% sure exactly what we're going to see, but uh, we'll take it one step at a time. Let's look at the... Uh, a few different things out here. I want to pull up the uh, dollar yen chart. This is one of the most important charts that any trader could follow. Today you're seeing the dollar yen a little bit on the weaker side. So um, dollar yen had a big surging move yesterday. Today it's down about 33 cents. This is usually a negative for the market. Dollar yen goes lower. Uh, that will hurt the market a little bit. Uh, the S&P 500 that is. So uh, keep that on your radar. The other important chart that you do want to follow will be bond yields. Uh, the, the movement in the 10-year bond yield is going to be very, very important as well. So, um, again, uh, we'll see how those both play out. But in the meantime, futures are bouncing between negative and uh, uh, up a point. So we're not going to make too much out of that right now. Looking uh, at the European, uh, the excuse me, the Asian markets last night, what you're going to notice is that the Nikkei 225 did make a little bit of a move that was up 1.8%, uh, finishing at... Uh, I believe 13,245 so a decent little move on the Nikkei however the Hang Seng and the Shanghai were both lower last night the Shanghai was down uh, three quarters of one percent um, it was down much much more and did stage a rally um, in the afternoon session so uh, that was uh, uh, decent for the Shanghai but it was still down three quarters of one percent the Hang Seng really didn't have a great night that was down 1.13 percent um, India, which is the Bombay Sensex Index, what you're going to notice is that that was down, I believe, up, oh, that was higher by, I believe, one-tenth of one percent. So we're not going to make too much out of that. And if you take a look at the um, Straits Times Index, which is Singapore, I believe that was also uh, down by a half a percent. So, again, just choppy markets, really, in the Asian markets last night. We're not going to make too much out of them. Um, the Nikkei 225 was the sign of strength there, though. Uh, looking over at the European markets today, um, slightly lower across the board. The FTSE 100, which is England, they can print their own money. That That is lower by about four-tenths of one percent. The German DAX is down about a half a percent today. So um, I believe President Obama will be speaking in Germany today. So we'll see how that plays out going forward. But um, right now, we're just looking at a, a really flat market here in the U.S., um, there are some gap plays to look at today. One that we have is Federal Express. Um, that's a gap play we're looking at uh, going forward. That'll be posted up in the chat room at 9 a.m. I think Adobe is another one. Adobe's having a surging move to the upside. And I think we have uh, about one or two more. So, again, those are the big names right now, though, FedEx and Adobe. And we will have um, some gap levels for them before the market even opens. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, <clears throat> take a look at gold this morning. What you're going to notice is that gold is catching a little bit of a bit. It's only up $5, not that big a deal. Gold was hit yesterday 
Right now it's trading at $1,372 an ounce. Let's take a look at the GLD. You'll see the GLD is uh, trading around $132.56. Closed at $132.13 yesterday. So not a big deal, at least in the right uh, at the moment from what I could tell. Um, let's take a look here at uh, oil today. Light sweet crude is trading higher uh, by $0.20. Cents. I believe that's at $98.64. A barrel for light sweet crude. That's the crude that we use here in the United States. Um, let's take a look at the USO, which is a good proxy for light sweet crude. And what you're going to see here is that the USO is trading around the $35 level. Um, right now, crude, believe it or not, with the momentum on the charts, does have more upside in the cards. But um, at some point, I think it will be a negative. But right now, crude is inching up uh, toward that. Uh, hundred dollar level you can see the USO trading at thirty five dollars now and we'll see if that does move up a little bit later but crude does have a little bit more upside left in the cards here in my opinion um, it will be affected obviously by the action in the US dollar index uh, definitely that is a driving force when it comes to crude you can see that the dollar has if you take a look at the daily chart of the dollar dollar has really plunged since uh, trading at 84.50 a few weeks ago. Look at it, it's all the way down to 80.69. Lower dollar equals higher gasoline, higher oil. That, that's kind of the way it works. All righty. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We're going to watch out for the Federal Reserve announcement a little bit later. Futures are really flat on the session, uh, but the Fed news is going to be the big talk of the town. The rest of it, you could just pretty much sit on your hands and wait for that report to come out. We'll see if we get some morning volatility out here. I think we can get some action in the first 90 minutes of the trading day. After that, things will get very, very quiet, and we'll get more of a subdued session. But I will see you all on the charts a little bit later. Have a great day, everyone. Take care now.